Today's daf is uh, Shkalim Tedvav, Shkalim uh, 15. Um, it says on Tedvav Mabez, uh, the Gemara brings a Mishnah. Um, where was the extra bowing? She came to They bowed towards the place where they stored the firewood. Sham uh, Aron Nignos, because there was a tradition that the, the, the Aron was buried in the place where they stored the firewood. He told his friend that the floor looked different over there. The person ended up dying when he told his friend that. And they knew, the Gemara says, Be'yichud, that the Aaron was buried there. Now the first question is, is that we know there's a concept of Tamim Tiyeh Mashem Elokecha. You have to be uh, straightforward with Hashem. You don't believe in uh, superstitions or things like that. So just because the person died when he showed his friend uh, that the floor was different there, that he thought the Aaron was buried there, uh, we can assume for sure, 100%, that's the reason that he died? Uh, that's one question. The Gemara continues, the Gemara says, Tani b'shem Lezer Aaron gal iman l'bavel. He says that the Lezer's opinion is the Aaron went with him to Bavel. My time, although Yivasa Dabar Amar Hashem ain't Dabar, so one opinion is the Aaron actually went to Bavel during the Gaulus. Hashem uh, says that the Aaron was buried uh, where it was in the Kodesh Shakdashim. Um, the the Gemara brings a third opinion. Um uh and the Rabbanan say that no it was buried in the place where the firewood was, the, the chamber where they kept the firewood in the base of Mikdash. So this comes out of three opinions where the Aron was buried. Are these opinions arguing on each other or could they possibly agree with each other? Um and the third question we'll ask is um the second opinion of the Gemara, Shimon Lakish Omer, Mkomayara Niknas, and then he brings a Pasuk uh, that it was seen, but it wasn't seen. Elanirin, Velonirin, Bolton, Yotzin, Kishne, Dadi, Aisha. The Aron, the, the poles of the Aron were sticking out uh, into the curtain of the Kodesh Akdashim, and it looked like two breasts of a woman. Is there any significance to this imagery? I want to suggest that, um, like the Gemara is going to say later on, that really there were two things. There was, uh, well, there's three things. The Aron, where it encased the, the Luchos, or the Sefer Torah, and the Luchos, the Shivrei Luchos, and also the Sefer Torah, which was written, um, Torah Shebechta, which was written down. So it comes out of these three things. So order, maybe we can use that to answer our question from before. That really, um, these three opinions are not really arguing. The first opinion says, Ha'aron gali iman l'bavel. And it says, the Pasuk, Elish ha'dibros l'tocho. It uses the Aseris ha'dibros. Could be they're referring to only Shivrei luchos, those went to bavel. <coughs> Aseris ha'dibros. And when it says uh, that uh, it stayed in its place, that was talking about the Badim, it was talking about the poles and the actual uh, the binyan, the actual uh, Aron itself, the outer box, not the actual Sefer Torah. And the third opinion is where the actual uh, Torah Shebechtav was buried, Dira Eitzen. Um, if that's true, we could also answer um, what does it mean? Of, uh, was it superstitious to know the person died from when he told? He said he thought it was in the Dira Eitzen. He thought it was in the chamber with the wood. And he saw the floor was uneven, and he told everyone about it, and he died because of that. So the Gemara used blush and to be yichud It doesn't say that they knew for sure. But yichud, yichud means like yichud. Yichud is a concept in the Torah where a man and a woman uh, share the same room or the same house without someone else in that house or in that room, uh, meaning it's very close to 
coming to an Avera, but it's not really there yet. It's, we could even say the Gemara Kedushin says, Remez liyichud min Torah. We could say, uh, interesting pshat, Remez liyichud, that yichud is on the level of Remez. Uh, when it says the word yichud, that means a remez. I mean, it's not there for sure. But we, could, we, we can't assume for sure that it was like that. But there's a good possibility. And that you can do. That's not a problem. And maybe we can use that to answer the third question. Is that we're going to end up saying that there's three things, really. There's Aseris uh, Dibro, the Shivrei Luchos. That is so. That is the highest form of truth there is. Aseris Dibro basically... Is the ultimate uh, desire of Hashem in the world? Hashem wants uh, the highest level of the Torah is to mekayim the Aseris Adibros. What is Aseris Adibros? Obviously, you seem to be saying things like you know belief in Hashem and honoring your parents, don't kill anyone. Um, that's on the simple explanation, the drush. Uh, just to give an example. The Gemara says one of the Aseris Adibros to the Sisa as the Shem El Kachalashav. Uh, you shouldn't say Hashem's name uh, in vain. So just to get an idea of what the Aseris Dibros might mean is that it's talking about when you're eating food that you shouldn't make a bracha in vain, meaning you should make sure that you make a bracha on a food that you enjoy. If you make a bracha on a food that you don't enjoy, you're eating food that you don't enjoy, that's not what Hashem wants. Hashem wants us to enjoy this world. And maybe that's one of the, and other Aseris Dibros could be explained like that. We're not going to get into that right now. So, Aser HaSadibros is the highest form, that's Sod. And the Torah Shebech Tav, that's on a level of Remes, and that's Vayedu Biyichud. And the Aron itself, which was just the outer casing of the Torah, that would be on a level of Drush or Pshat, it would be on a lower level. Um, and that would be like the Gemara's description of uh, Nir and Kedad Isha. It looks like the breast of a woman. That um, it wasn't the breasts were. Uh, covered by the curtain. So it was covered by the curtain. So that's something which is not yichud. It's on the level of yichud, where you're in the same man and woman in the same house together. It's a level of just walking in the street. You can see a woman closed, and you know you can see these things in the street. Um, so those would be the three levels. Would be the the drush would be the um, would be talking about uh, the 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 iron itself, the casing. And the Remez will be talking about Torah Shebech the written Torah, and the Sod will be the other series of Zebros.